Hey, for those of us who like to record music on cassette tape, the availability of good quality Type 2 tape is essential. You can still get a reasonable amount of new old stock tape on eBay and Facebook Marketplace, but you're never too sure how well it's been stored, it's getting more expensive and it's, it's gonna run out at some point. That's why it's great that several companies have started to make new Type 2 tape over the last few years. The only ones that seem to be available to buy here in Europe at the moment are these ATR Cobalt Silver Series. So I've got myself one from Tommen in Germany and I'm gonna compare it to a traditional Type 2 chrome tape. From what I understand, these new cobalt tapes use a different formula to your traditional chrome type 2 tapes due to environmental reasons. I couldn't find out much technical details about the ATR formula or manufacturing process, so please drop me a comment below if you've got any extra information you can share. Right, let's open up the tape and have a look. Let's have a quick comparison between the ATR tape and the Maxwell and see how the cases compare and what we get with it. So this is the um, ATR, get the, the J card info sticker, obviously the tape itself. Then with the Maxell, let's get the tape out. Look at the J card. Okay, so on this J card, you get a bit more information about the tape. Let's look at the two tapes together. It's a bit of a subjective comparison, but I'd say that the um, the ATR tape is a little bit more flimsy feeling than the Maxell possibly. Seems like this is made of slightly thicker plastic and the mechanisms are a little bit more sturdy. Right, I'm gonna wind the tape on to see what difference in color or texture there is with the tape. Right, a bit of a technical tool here, a pencil, which is obviously a must for any tape enthusiast. Let's roll on the ATR tape as well. There we go. Let's see if there's any difference in color there. So it looks like the Maxwell's a very slightly darker shade. If I freeze frame here, you can see there's a slight difference in texture as well. The ATR seems to have a slightly rougher texture and the Maxwell looks a bit smoother and has more of a gloss finish. All right. To test these tapes, I'm gonna do a multi-track recording of my band We Happy Few on my 488 Tascam Porter Studio. The plan is to record drums and bass live and then to overdub guitars and singing. Hopefully this source material will give me a good frequency range and dynamic response to really test out the tapes and see what they can handle. This is one of the live rooms in Shepherd's Bush Studios in London and I've brought along my own gear for this session. We're using three mics on the drums, an SM57 on the snare, an AKG112 on the kick and a Zoom stereo mic on the room. These are bust into a stereo tracks on the 488 and the bass is DI to track 3. I'll also lay down a guy guitar track but we'll redo this later on so it doesn't bleed into the drums. The DBX noise reduction we switched on on the 488 for these recordings as well. Right, I'm back in the home studio now and we've recorded two tests to see how the tapes perform in different situations. With test one, I've set the signal to peak at around zero dB to try and get a cleaner recording. And the second test, I've pushed it into the red a bit further and it's peaking at around three to five dB. I'll play back the same section of our song, Bad News Rising, on each of the tests so you can get a better idea how the tape performs.
Right, so what do you think? Do you have a favourite? It would be great to hear your thoughts either way. Um, it would also be good to hear from you if you've tried one of the other new tapes by Tascam or the National Audio Company and you've got an idea how they compare to the quality of the ATR. Now these tapes aren't particularly cheap at around £7 a unit but I do think it's good news that manufacturers are starting to make Type 2 tapes again for our beloved old recording gear. It also demonstrates that the cassette revival is picking up a bit of steam and manufacturers can make an, enough money from this niche market to make it worth bringing out a new product. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope it's been useful. If you found it interesting, please consider subscribing so you can keep updated with the next videos. Um, also, if you like the track I was playing there by my band We Happy Few, I'll be finishing off the next few weeks and I'll post the link below so you can hear the finished product. All right, well, take care.